In this, in the previous video, I talked about low pass filter RL circuit are in an RL circuit. In this case, I'm going to talk about a low pass filter in an RC circuit, a circuit that has resistance and capacitance. So, you know, instead of the output taken across the resistance like we did in the RC high pass filter. The output is taken across the capacitance in the RC low pass filter. So kind of the same uh, procedure. You take the uh, voltage divider or transfer function, which is output voltage divided by output signal. So the impedance, since we're working in frequency domain, so we talk about the reactances or impedances. So capacitance have, or capacitor has an impedance of one over J omega C. So one over J omega C divided by R plus one over J omega C, just kind of some uh, algebra manipulation, basically dividing both sides by R, you know, then just dividing everything by, or multiplying both sides by J omega RC, you get one over one plus J omega RC. So just algebra manipulation. So then if I take the magnitude of this quantity is just one over, again, if you have A plus J times B as a complex quantity, its magnitude is square root of quantity A squared plus B squared. So that's really what I'm doing here. You calculate the angle the same thing then the cutoff frequency is 1 over RC and obviously you can write the transfer function in terms of polar form and obviously from here you see that V out where the output voltage in phasor is H or the transfer function times the input you know then to go back to the in, uh, time domain you know it's just the magnitude or the peak of the sig uh, input signal times the magnitude of the transfer function since we started with a sinusoidal uh, signal that's why we have the cosine then you just sum up the all the angles here so now just as a simple example, you know, kind of like, let's assume we're designing an RC low pass filter. We say, okay, let's uh, assume R is 45 ohms, C is two microfarads. Then you calculate omega as one over RC. Then you can calculate frequency. So then in here, I'm just changing the frequency or omega. And just to keep uh, things simple, the input signal I'm just assuming one then I calculated the output voltage so you can see right away the output voltage is close to the input voltage and once you get to after the cutoff frequency that I'm highlighting here it starts decreasing so this is in a tabular, tabular form in a graphical form you can see so here is what I highlight uh, in the red font is the cutoff frequency here so you see the output signal like at the beginning at the start is close to the input signal it starts decreasing it starts decreasing even more after the cutoff frequency and at some point basically it will get close to zero thank you and have a great day